What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking play. Hopefully, you last until the end because I like to have a conversation with my friends and also just read the comments like crazy when I'm late at night, when I'm in the bed eating my midnight snacks, chilling with my wife while she fakes like she's looking at a Netflix movie with me, but she's falling asleep because I'm rubbing her feet at the same time. <sighs> Women, right? Yeah, but I just want to say, Caitlin, we love you over here, LFR family, man. We love you over here. You your videos are, um, they're, they're amazing. Keep on doing your thing. Just be safe out there. Also, congratulations on your new bundle of joy that you guys have. That's a blessing. All right. So let's check this one out and see what it's about. All right, let's go. And I know this is kind of weird because of like my skin color and my background, but Trump has actually done quite a few good things for the country. I hate when people say, oh, black lives matter. What about all lives? Who are you Trump. voting for? Donald Trump. Trump. You like Donald Trump? <laughs> Let me tell y'all, actually, he is a pretty cool person. He, he is cool straightforward. Person. I haven't really heard him say <laughs> nothing really racist. Yeah. But what about the five-year-old little white boy, though? What happened? What about him? You know, I feel like all lives matter, not just one. What am I missing here? <laughs> None of them had anything slick to say. Get out of here! I die. What are you guys gonna? Who are you Trump. voting for? Donald like Trump. Trump. You like Donald Trump? Uh, Let me say, y'all actually, he is a pretty cool person. He's he is cool straightforward. Person. He, I'm not voting for him. Though, somebody, but he's a cool person. I just want to know because a lot of people pull in a race card. I'm not racist. I love everybody, so it doesn't matter. But I haven't really heard him say nothing really. Racist, like yeah, I never. What was yeah, it? Money. What point? was it that he really said that was racist? He was he's straightforward person yeah, to me. He's very you know straightforward. Like, like that's one thing about Donald. He's, he's ignorant. Sugarcoat nothing. But he don't yeah. sugarcoat, so he get my vote. Well, that's now when she said he's an a hole. I believe that when she said he's ignorant as hell. I believe that when she says that he's ignorant, she's not saying that he's dumb. She's not saying that he doesn't. He's lacking any type of knowledge or anything. She's saying that the way that he goes about saying whatever it is on his mind that he wants to say in the black community, when we say somebody is, oh, you may you ignorant as hell. That means that that person does not bite their tongue. That's all it means. It doesn't mean they're dumb, nothing like that. It just means that they don't bite their tongue. And to hear somebody like Donald Trump, who, who's the president, still being able to communicate the way that he was communicating, that means a lot to some people. My, my question, I've asked probably hundreds of people, name something Donald Trump has said or yeah, done that's yeah, racist, yeah, and they can't give it to me. He didn't gave us some money, okay? Well, this is a pandemic, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the, he been helping us all this time. You get what I'm saying? Like, I never, I, I, I ain't, to be honest with you, I ain't never heard him say, you know, I heard him say idiot, but, you know, it wasn't so bad, racist, you know what I'm saying? Everybody doing the racist card, like, they fired. Honestly, like, and I know this is kind of weird because of like my skin color and my background, but Trump has actually done quite a few good things for the country. Like, and I mean for the country, not like for any individual like race or you know gender or anything. He's done well for the country overall. We all knew what type of person he was when he, we had, he had a show, all right? And he made it real famous off of saying, you're fired. And we love to hear him say that. So, so we chose a president that made it big off of something like that. Of yeah. course, you know what I'm saying? That was Being something. straightforward and blind. Yeah. Right, right, right. Don't get mad now, you know what I'm saying? He thought he was playing when he went. He won. And, and he said that he was going to, that see, we didn't know what clean the swap, drain the swap was. We didn't know what any of that was when he came and, and he said that he was going to do that. And he daggone did that. And a lot of people was feeling butthurt from that, man. For real. A lot of people was feeling butthurt from that when he actually was firing people it's like man now nah, get up out of here you get up out of here too i don't care if you're a lifelong politician i don't like you you're a liar and you're not fair get up out of here between family debates i don't like choosing a side in my family because then i'm going to be like i, I will literally be fought again like well you're not choosing a side you're just saying this man's our president because you already said he's done a good job he's done he an okay a, job he's done, a, he's done an okay job overall he's done a good job overall i'm not gonna say okay he's done a good job overall i hate when people say oh black lives matter what about all lives Every well did you know that black lives matter is actually written on the street down yeah, there I understand that you know don't get me wrong it's sad what happened yeah. but what about the five-year-old little white boy though what happened what about him you know 
I feel like all lives matter, not just one, you know. We should get together and paint that on the street, right? All lives matter? I get tired of hearing to say one thing, you know, why it gotta be just black people? Why it can't be all colors? Puerto Rican, black, Indian, white. Now, now, Kanye West, though. Kanye, he got the money to back it up. He might be smart enough, but he, he very influential, all right? And a lot of people is going to follow him. Now, him kind of kind of bring the votes away you know what i'm saying to for, for trump to get more that's kind of a risky move for him i wouldn't waste a lot of money on a political party to do something like that but all right no more of my I'm <laughs> send this send my damn stimulus check okay <laughs> gotcha we are oh, hey his son follows me on twitter we'll send it out we'll, we'll send right. it how come i never got a stimulus i never got a damn stimulus <laughs> i never got a stimulus is that for people with that make a certain amount I never got a stem. <laughs> My two pennies is it's good to see people who aren't afraid to put their information out there the way that they want to put that information out there. Um, have your conversations. If you if I'm talking to someone right now who's afraid to let people know um, that you support a side politically that's different than your friends or your your peer group or your family do it or keep it to yourself but you feel more liberated if you just freaking have a conversation with people having conversations with people you never know why they feel the way that they feel a bit of information that you have might be enough to give them a certain level of understanding so that they can even if they don't come over to your side because you don't want to get out there and just start recruiting people nah that's not your job what you do want to do is be able to freely discuss things without feeling like if you put your original thoughts and ideas out there that you'll be attacked. No, not at all. This is the land of the free. Feel free to speak whatever your truth is, all right? And that's all that's important. If you got something to back it up, then back it up with some facts. Do your research. Matter of fact, if you're, if you're fearful, of putting your information out there because you believe that someone might shut you down or, or they might ask you questions that will force you to back it up, well, be prepared. Be prepared. Go do some research. And whatever questions you think you will be asked, whatever you whatever um, statements you've heard in certain communities that, that will be against whatever you're believing right now, um, look up those statements. Um, and, and find out whether or not those statements are true, if they hold any weight and just get more information on it. That way, when you do have those conversations again, you're, you're ready. You know what I mean? You're well-versed, you know, whenever you go into any situation and you're well-versed or you're ready, like going to the beach after you don't worked out for six months straight, you will feel better. You will feel 100 times, um, better, but if you not ready you won't be ready your confidence will be extremely low and you will feel like you're feeling right now but yeah just let it out man like just let it out it's all about what's, what's best for you and your family at the end of the day nobody can tell you um how you should vote or how you should feel about your vote you know it's like nah i mean they can but you don't have to take it in because they don't support you they don't pay your bills they don't take care of you and your family. You do, right? So do what's best for you and your family. At the end of the day, that's how I feel about it. But I want to hear what y'all have to say about this in the comments below. If you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van, and now we are all the LFR family. I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual, man. Love y'all.